2017 Dacia Sandero 1.0 SCE 75 Laureate Review From 5,345 pounds 7. Point. A quicker, cleaner entry-level engine and better interior makes the bargain basement Sandero even better value, but it's still only average to drive. What is it? The Dacia Sandero has stoically remained the entry-level point to the new car market since its launch in 2013 and bargain hunters can rejoice, even with some upgrades for 2017, it remains the cheapest new car you can buy in the UK. The facelift includes a reworked front and rear with LED daytime running lights, more equipment inside and a new engine. Slotting into the bottom of the range as the new entry-level option, a 7.3 bhp 1.0 liter 3 cylinder naturally aspirated petrol unit is now available which is marginally quicker and more fuel efficient than the 1.2 liter 4 cylinder it replaces it joins the lineup alongside the more powerful turbocharged 0.9 liter petrol triple and 1.4 liter diesel the spec upgrades help you get dab radio and aircon as standard on mid-level ambience while range-topping Laureate models get a touchscreen infotainment system with SAT NAV and a reversing camera. The lineup starts with access trim for a headline grabbing 5,995 pounds but you still get very little kit. Ambience carries a 1,000 pounds premium, while Laureate is another 1,200 pounds on top of that all of which, in typical Dacia fashion, represents staggering value. We're driving the new 1.0 liter engine in Laureate trim, although in the UK this engine will only be available with access and ambience spec levels. What's it like? Dacia's new 1.0 is 20 kilograms lighter than the 1.2 it usurps, thanks in part to an all-aluminum block. Indeed, the whole car is light, even by super mini standards, but it doesn't have much power, it's peppy enough around town, but you need to keep the revs in the mid-range to make brisk progress. At least it's not too sluggish off the line and the throttle response is sharper than most triples do. It's not very refined, though, with engine noise particularly noticeable above 3500 RPM, and because you need to drive it hard on faster roads the thrum can become tiresome. It does settle down when cruising, and while this engine will be adequate for most Sandero buyers if you'll regularly be doing motorway journeys we'd still recommend opting for the greater power in the 0.9 liter engine, even though it carries a 1000 pounds premium. The new unit is more efficient than the engine it replaces, with CO2 emissions and claimed fuel economy much improved to make it comparable with its rivals like the Ford Ka Plus, which brings us to the main concern for the facelift Sandero. The Cayenne is a new budget super mini that is actually pretty good to drive and rides very well, so the Sandero's days of lording over the budget end of the segment could be numbered. Especially because, mechanically, the facelift is unchanged from the model it replaces. That means it's still not an engaging or fun car to drive, but for this price that's no surprise, and its handling is at least accurate, if not exciting. The car has a soft suspension set up so the ride is okay and it's quite composed but it's inconsistent, managing to soak up most modest imperfections at low speeds but it doesn't take much to unsettle it. The Sandero does have two trump cards to play on the Ka Plus, price and space. It's considerably cheaper than the Ka Plus, and you'll struggle to find a small car that packages its space on offer so effectively, especially for passengers in the rear. Its tall body means there's plenty of headroom, and legroom isn't stingy either. The boot, meanwhile, is a practical size and will fit a couple of big suitcases in without any trouble, although there is a rather large loading lip. Inside there's been a decent step up in the level of standard specification for each trim. It also gets some better quality materials, with flashes of chrome throughout the dash, and a new steering wheel which is far more tactile than the previous unit, all of which makes it less obvious that you're sat in the cheapest new car in the country. Should I buy one? Ultimately, while the Sandero lacks the accomplished dynamic finesse of more expensive super minis, its jaw-dropping value will always make it worthy of consideration for anyone on a tight budget.
This new engine is an improvement on the model it replaces, and will cater for most prospective Sandero buyers. If you can stretch to it, cars like the Cayenne and Skoda Citigo are much more satisfying to drive, but the Sandero's price, practicality, and its upgraded interior means it still mixes it with them. Dacia Sandero 1.0 SCE 75 Laureate Location, Split, Croatia On sale, now Price, £6,995, Ambience. Engine, 3 CYL 998 cubic centimeters, petrol. Power, 73 bhp at 6300 rpm. Torque, 72 pounds foot at 3500 rpm. Curb weight, 969 kilograms. Gearbox, 5 SPD manual. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 14.2 SEC. Top speed, 98 miles per hour. Economy, 54.3 mpg, combined. CO2 slash big tax band, 117 g slash km, 20%. Rivals, Ford Ka Plus, Skoda Citigo.